Hello everyone. Uh, I have seen in in many forums people asking how can I make a, a slider to put on my website. Um, I have a, an e-commerce site for, for our company waloka.com uh, with big commerce and I have seen also in the forums there that many people are always struggling with the jQuery sliders and with the flash sliders. Uh, because most of them require people to know a little bit of of JavaScript or HTML, and they have always one kind of problems or others, and they are using other alternative to do that. Uh, so today I wanted to to share with you a new tool that can help you doing just that and many more things that you may need for your website. Uh, using a new tool from Adobe that was released a few days ago called Edge Animate uh, 1.0 and the best news is that Adobe released this tool absolutely free so you don't have to pay, it's not trial, it's not in beta anymore but they decided to make it free, at least this version will be free forever uh, I don't know if when they release the next version sometime in the future they will charge for that one but for now it's free so again, it's called H Animate, and you can search on on the website or on the web and, and download it for free. And this is how it looks when you open a blank document. So basically, the only thing that you have on the stage when you open a new document is a stage. There is no assets or symbols or fonts. There is nothing here. Uh, so let's let's start adding some stuff. Um, by the way, my name is Gilbert Misrahi, uh, and yeah, okay. One more thing before I start. Also, if, if you download the application, there are some lessons that you can watch. This is interactive stuff, so you can play with that, and it shows a few things. Also, if you do some searches on, on the web, you will find more, more tutorials. In this particular case, I want to make a tutorial of how to make a slider for your website. The stage right now it's 550 by 400 pixels. I have my images at 960 by 640. Of course, probably that's not the the best the best size for for a slider. But the purpose of this is is, is to to show you how to do it. So I'm not gonna modify my images. The 960 is, is, is good, but probably you want something that is not as high as high as 640. So, okay, let's change this. So I can change the size by dragging here, and you see this is changing, or I can click there and put 960 and 640. So now my stage is, is at the size that I want. And I will look for a couple of images here so I will take this butterfly in the wild image and this fruit salad image uh, let's hide this and I take the butterfly in the wild by selecting it here on the stage I can select it also here so you have two, two ways to do it and I move this to zero zero and I see here that's at zero zero that's fine and then I take the fruit salad and I do the same. I move this to zero zero, and I check that it's in zero zero. The size of these images is the same as the stage, so that's exactly what I wanted. And okay, what I want to do with this is I want one image to to be on the stage when the the, the website appear or the slider appear, and the next one to to come back after a, a few seconds. So let's say that I want to move the, the fruit salad, so I select it here as well. And I say, okay, I want this to, let me drag this a little bit so I can have more seconds on the timeline here. Let's say that at five second mark, probably this is the five second mark, but somewhere around the five second mark, yeah, right there. I want the, the fruit salad to appear. So when it's, it's at five zero, I, I put, a uh, keyframe here on X in the position and I want that to move to, to the right so now I move this uh, to 960 and 0 960 and 0 
and I say okay after two seconds so I move now these two two more seconds there I want this I put another clip frame and I move this to zero and now it will move if I see this thing it, it I, I will see that the, the, it's going to be animated so let's let's see how that plays I I kick uh, I type control enter to see it on the on a on a browser and I see that after five seconds it slides in for two seconds okay that's good for now and let's go back to zero here and probably in this one I want to put some some text or something some some stuff here so I will use the text control here I click there and I type this is called butterfly on the wild because this is a, a butterfly necklace that we put on, on the garden and my wife took a picture on, on top of some some flowers so it looks very nice but okay this is butterfly in the wild and probably you you have imagined already that Baloka is about fashion jewelry uh, and if you thought so you're right okay so I put this but the text is in black so it we cannot see it there so let's change the color of the of the font and we can use some some gray like that and also we need to maybe we want to increase the size of the font something like that uh, I want to put this like this um, and here when say shadow is not it doesn't have shadow let's put shadow in, and we can change the color so let's put some some color there and we can see some shadow there of course we can have the the x y and blur for the shadow we can change that here for now i, I like that the only thing is i don't like the font uh let me position this to the right I don't like the font and the fonts that I have available here on my system uh, that are the normal ones that are on the internet I don't I don't like them so let's use other fonts so I click there and I can embed some code here but where I get that code so I go uh, to Google web fonts and these are fonts that you can use for free and of course if you have a, a subscription to uh, to Adobe uh, CS, CS Cloud to, to the Creative Suite Cloud you have access to, to, to many many more fonts or Typekit but anyway let's let's uh, continue with free stuff so we get here and we say okay yeah uh, let's select a font here I, I in particular I like this finger paint so I, I click here on quick use and I go down here and I have to copy this this is the code that I have to copy this link and I go back to my page and where it says embed I put that and I have to put the name here so I go back to, to to this page and where it, it says in integrate the font into your CSS this part so you, you copy without the font family you copy from finger paint and cursive and you put that in this part the font fallback list and basically after the, the finger paint that is the name you put a font that will replace this one if it cannot find that one and you can put comma and other fonts as well in case you want to have different ones so okay let's add the, that font and now on the list for the for that text that I have selected on the list I say okay I want to use the finger paint ah that's nice but maybe the size is too large so I can go uh, yeah that, that's good let's move this a little bit like that position is good yeah I, I like that okay and now but I don't want this text to appear right away and also this will be on top of everything so I need to move this 
down because I need this to be on top of the butterfly in the, the wild image. But I once a, the, the fruit salad appears, I want to cover that that image. I want to cover the text as well. Uh, so I put this in the middle. And I want this thing to appear like a, after a second or something. So I click here in a second. And on the text, I, I do the same as I did before. If I want to, to put it changing from in this time, this time I want this to move from the left. So I select that and I move this right there. And then let's say that I want that to move for a couple of seconds, a second and a half or something. And here I put this back and I want only to move from the X. So I drag this and I say, okay, that's that's fine. Of course, I can move the Y and I can change the dimensions or anything else, but but that that's nice. So if if I click Control Enter, I see that text flying from the left and then the image flying from the right. But I don't like the way it looks because it's you know it's linear movement. Uh, you want to change that, so I, I want to, right now it's linear, so I, I, I want to change the way that that moves, so I, I want to go here and I say, okay, let's do easy out, and here I see the curve, so it will move very fast and then very slow, or cubic is less, less dramatic, uh, so you can play with that and, and see which one you like. Okay, let's do this one, so it will move very fast and then slow. Um, and for for the fruit salad, let's do uh, a bounce or elastic or back. Let's do back. The back back is nice. No. Okay, I mean you can play with this. So let's see how that looks. We do control enter again to see how that plays. So here the, the text moves from the left. After a while the the very much go move and, and then bounce back. So let's say that that's okay. I mean you, you can play with the, the settings here and and you see the effect. Of course you can continue uh, playing with this and put more slides, more text, but, but you get the idea. So let's stop this, this initial tutorial like this. And here you have the animation. There are no interactivity at all. There are no ways to, to, to go to the next slide or something faster. So, but for now, for now it's, it's good enough. So uh, in the next video, we will add some interactivity and, and put more stuff. And see you then. Bye-bye.